In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how DQ Analyzer can be used in a real-world business case scenario. We will show how email addresses can be extracted and cleaned for use in a direct mail campaign. The dataset we have has five columns containing contact information and a primary key. We see that there is a column called src underscore email, which we assume contains email addresses. However, let's learn more about the emails that are in this file before we consider using the raw data in this column for our campaign. In the application, this tutorial is shown as four separate planned files, which show different phases of the project. In this video tutorial, we will begin with the first planned file and add on to it. We begin by creating a new profile using the Create Profile wizard. Since we don't know the structure of our data very well, we will set the mask analysis to words, which is more useful for checking the format of email addresses. We will also enable drill through functionality so that we can inspect individual records. We will choose to create a planned file since we expect to add additional algorithms later. We will now run the planned file to perform an initial analysis of our data. We will first look at the column src underscore email in which we think email addresses are contained. We can see by using drill through in the mass tab that there are three primary types of email address formats. Plain emails, those with angle brackets around them, and those with the word mail to before them. Here's where the words mask is useful because it masks the letters in the emails and highlights the other characters such as the angle brackets and the colon after the word mail to which indicate a different email format. We would like to devise a way to standardize the different formats into one common format. First we'll create a new column in the text file reader step to store our standardized emails. We will then add a regular expression matching step named regex matching to parse the emails. For simple step lists, this can be done using a click and drag action from the step list panel to the canvas. For more complex listings, Control i can be used to invoke an insert step dialog. This dialog contains a text filter that allows for quick location of saved customized steps that are organized under a common step type. One other time-saving feature is the ability to drop a new step right onto a connection, which does not require reconnection of the connector lines. We will use separate regular expressions to parse each of the different email formats. We can also create a column that stores the name of the regular expression that was used for each record by using the regex name column. This will tell us the number of emails in each specific format. We will then update the profiling step with the new columns we created. We can use the fill columns button to add them. Now let's run the plan to see the updated results. We have two new columns in our results. The column named std underscore email should now list the email addresses without the surrounding brackets or mail to prefix. A quick look at the frequency and mask analysis tabs shows that it was successful. Now we can look at the regex name column and see in the frequency tab that about 38% of the email addresses were surrounded by brackets, 32% did not have any extra formatting, and about 9% had the word mail to before them. 
Since 18% of the records do not contain any type of email address, we would like to investigate whether email addresses appear in any other columns. We will add to our plan a new condition step which filters the data based on whether the new standardized email column contains a value. We would like to create separate profiles for each of the data sets in which we are interested. In this case, records that we know have an email address and records that we don't know. We will use as a condition std underscore email is not null. This allows us to deduct records that don't have an email address in the email field and may have an email address in a different column. We will send the results of one condition output to one profile and of the other condition output to another profile by adding a second profiling step. A quick way to do this is copying and pasting the existing profiling step. We will then rename the steps and profile output files. Let's run the plan file and take a look at the two profiles that are created. The profile with the correct emails looks very similar to the previous one we generated, except that all null email address records have been removed. Let's look at the other profile, which contains records that have an empty value in the std underscore email field. When we look at the mass tab of the src underscore address column, we can see quite a few values that appear to be formatted as email addresses. We can use drill through to inspect some of these records that contain the at symbol. Here we see over 200 records that have email addresses in the src underscore address column. Now that we know there are some email addresses in another column, the next task is to merge all the email addresses into one column. So we will add a few new steps to do this. Just as we extracted email addresses from the src underscore email field using the regex matching step, we will do the same with the src underscore address field. We only need to do this in cases where the std underscore email field is null, since we already have emails for the other records. So we will insert a regular expression matching step after our condition step. Since the desired behavior is the same, we will just copy the existing regex matching step and change the name of the input column in regular expressions. Now we want to merge the newly extracted emails with the other ones, so we will use the condition step again to take only records that contain a value in the std underscore email field. To merge this data with our existing list of populated email fields, we will use the union same step, which merges separate data flows into one. Now we can profile both data flows as one. Let's run the plan and take a look at the new profile we created. Remember, what we are striving for is a consolidated list of all email addresses in our data set, with all extraneous formatting removed. Our std underscore email column now contains over 9100 records, all formatted correctly. It had less than 7700 previously, and only 3100 emails could be used directly at the beginning of the process. If you look closely at the other profile, you can see a few more email addresses that we haven't yet extracted, but we'll leave that as an exercise to try on your own. In this tutorial, we have shown how to use DQ Analyzer to standardize and extract email addresses from a set of customer data. But in order to confidently compile a list of emails to use for a direct marketing campaign, we would like to check for validity of our emails before using them. As we saw in the profile, some of them appear to be dummy or fake email addresses. Atacama offers a product called Data Quality Center, which has many more algorithms for this and other types of data quality tasks. Here we can see the validate email algorithm inserted into a plan file, which verifies the emails in a data set. Data Quality Center builds on the functionality available in DQ Analyzer, 
and is designed to support not only data analysis and inspection, but comprehensive data cleansing as well. For more information about Data Quality Center, please visit our website at www.atacama.com.